angels flying, wind at her heels, serpents gliding, nothing revealed. Food bad circles, I believe, I believe it's my beginning. Whoa, gone of those winters, gone of those days, gone of those choices to be recklessly brave. I'm guided by angels, decided by choice, it's my beginning. It is half past eight in the morning. We are currently looking through some seeds to replant because somebody forgot to shut the gate to the allotment and the goats got in there. <laughs> Not naming no names. <laughs> uh, I'm Katie. I'm Andy. And we have had our own homestead in Spain, southern Spain, since 2008. 18, yes. the beginning of 2018 we started, but we really got into it kind of the end of 2019. Yeah. After obviously some bits and pieces, which we'll explain obviously throughout the video. Uh, we moved to Spain on the 20th of May 2016 with two dogs, a two year old and 700 euros in our back pocket at a transit van. Yeah. With no jobs, nothing, either. No, we moved over for the dream or it was completely crazy, but four years later, today, and we're still here, so it's going good so far. Why did we move here? Because and of me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I... It was always there, always there, that I wanted to move out of England and I wanted to move abroad, but it just came up one day. Yeah. And it just happened. It just sort of happened. We we told the family, and four months later, we was on a boat. <laughs> we was on our way out here. Uh, originally, we moved to Alicante at first. Yep. Uh, we spent a year in Alicante, and then we we found this place, and we moved out here. Mm -hmm. um, and originally, it was just to move out here to give Lexi more space to run around in. Um, where we lived in the UK was in a little village, so we was used to sort of a little village life, not. Urbanisation life, <laughs> yeah. sort of thing. Um, give the dogs a bit more space. Mm. And within a few months of being here, the dogs multiplied. Because <laughs> I come home with a couple of rescues. When we first lived in the UK, we had three chickens. So we knew kind of roughly what kind of to do with them and how to raise them. We'd never had baby chicks before. We just literally had three chickens and we just had them for eggs for ourselves. So we went out and got three chickens. Yep. And you used pallets. Yeah, we had some pallets knocking about. When we moved in it, it was all overgrown and stuff. So we found bits and bits of stuff as we were cleaning up. So we used what we had and we built it on the driveway. <laughs> we, <did. laughs> we built a chicken run on the driveway. So then you went out for chicken food? Yep. You and Lexi went out for chicken food? Yep. Yeah. And we came back with ten ducks. Mm. This was a couple of weeks after the chickens. Ducklings. Well, they? ducklings. Um, what possessed you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I There's a know. running theme here. <laughs> <laughs> Never send me out for food. Never. Because normally it comes back living. <laughs> <laughs> I go out for a chicken, I come back with ten chickens. And that was in, that was the beginning of 2018, wasn't it? Yeah. And, and then, then towards... Towards the end, you went back to England for three weeks with Lexi. December. At, yeah, for Christmas, spend time with the family and stuff. Obviously, by this point, we had the dogs and stuff, so we all couldn't go. So I stayed here. And I started watching homestead videos. People in America, people in Australia. Um, I watched the Great American Farm Tour. And... It, that really sort of started it then, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, that so, was just, yeah. Justin Rhodes and, and his wife, Rebecca, and yeah. their, their children. And it just sort of started it. That life, for me, just... I know where my food's come from. I know we grow everything ourselves. Mm, not only that, but it, it teaches the children, you know. I mean, we grew up around kind of that kind of... Well, I did. I yeah. mean, I remember when... 
I used to stay at my granddad's and he had, I mean, both of my granddad's had massive allotments and, you know, one of them I used to kind of sit there at kind of Lexi's age. You know, if they couldn't find me, I was sat in the middle of the veg eating raw veg, <laughs> as you do as a child and getting dirty. So it's good for Lexi and Sebastian to kind of grow up doing the same thing, yeah. really, isn't it? Knowing yeah. where your food's come from, whether it's vegetables or kind of chicken and... <laughs> yeah. So then I think by kind of the end of the summer last year, 2019. We had gardens growing, we had. We had an egg, egg lady business yeah. as well. So we were selling eggs and preservatives and like pickled beetroot and jam and marmalade. And then it kind of all went a bit wrong. Yeah, yeah. Sebastian came along. It didn't go wrong because of Sebastian, <laughs> <laughs> but Sebastian came along in August, end of August, mm. and then a week later we were hit by a gofria and the floods come and it literally washed everything away. Everything away. Shelters, field, chickens, food, chickens. I think two chickens survived. Yeah. Turkey survived. <laughs> don't ask me how. I don't know where it went, but it survived. The goats survived, dogs, cats survived. Yeah. It was gained the, more ducks. Yeah. It was mainly the chicken business that we lost, but yeah. all the shelters fencing. But then your, obviously, your the, painting business yeah, kind my, of suffered as well. My because painting all business. Your gear went. Yeah. Um, and for a long time, I sat there and when you grow stuff and you've grown it and grown it and grown it and then within a split second everything goes. It was like a year's worth of hard work and graft and we were we were getting there, we were running a sustainable business, it was, you know, and then within the space of a day, it, it was went. gone. Yeah. It was just gone and it was hard, more for you. Yeah, I seen it happen. <laughs> Basically, I sat there and watched it happen you were lucky enough you got out of here with the kids i i i actually got stuck in car for a couple of days but I, when i come back i had well we was lucky we had somebody come in <laughs> we had <Yeah. laughs> we had i come back and my house was like noah's ark I had goats, dogs, everything dogs running. in the bedroom <laughs> dogs in the terrace goats tied to the front yeah no, it was ducks, ducks around. Yeah, ducks just swimming around. It was the ducks crazy. Ducks enjoyed it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, for a couple of months it was hard. We didn't kind of know. Bomb. We didn't know what to do. Where to start? How to kind of get back to what we had? Kind of to. I mean, like we had so much support. We had a lot of support from friends, neighbours, from obviously our, our customers that we had with the business. Mm. I mean, everyone was has helped so much. To kind of get us back to where we are yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. are today. So the last eight months has been with a newborn baby, like you said, it's yeah. been extremely difficult. You know, I had to go. I went and got another full time job. Yeah. yeah. You were home with the kids. Yeah. We had um. Cause obviously we rent this place. We don't actually own it, and the landlord was absolutely fantastic. Yeah. We had because we run on solar. Yeah. <laughs> we had no electricity. We was running on generators and all sorts, and he got it fixed for us so quickly. Candlelight. <laughs> um, we spent most of the winter with candlelight because yeah. there was certain things that got fixed at certain times with solar. Mm. So sometimes seven o'clock at night, all the electric would go off. Yeah. And that was it. <laughs> that was it until the sun I, came I up the morning you, after. I remember you texted him. I'd be coming to do a ten hour day at work and coming back and Andy messaging me saying, um, pick up some candles on your way home. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's been a hard winter. It's been a wet winter as well. Yeah. For We know people that have been out here 15 years and they've turned around and said this is one of the worst winters they've known out here. Um, but it's all been rebuilt. And it's more or it's less... It's not... Perfect. It's not perfect. But we've used what we yeah. could and did what we could. I mean, I mean, the the, the animals have new shelters, which yeah. is the, the main priority was shelters and shade, ready for the, the summer. summer. Never had a plan. 
We don't do plans, do we? No. I I wrote a list for the first time last week. <laughs> I don't write lists. Everything's up here. I was very I, impressed. <laughs> I wake up in the morning. I know in my head what I've got to get done that day, and I and I get it done. Yeah. We get asked all the time, why? We're 30 years old. We moved out of here. Today. We, <laughs> we were 26. <laughs> we were 26 years old. Yeah. Um, when we moved out here. And people always ask us why. Normal people our age are working nine to five. I think we've come to realise we're not normal. Um, <laughs> they're not interested in this life. We don't know anybody our age. That decided at the age of 26 to leave everything and sell everything and move to Spain and just kind of see what happens, really. Yeah. yeah. I do things a lot different. Um... I probably would have come out with more money in my back pocket. <laughs> yeah. But it's it's a life experience, you know, that most people our age haven't experienced. Yes. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, it's definitely one for the books. It's one that we won't forget. And obviously we'll continue to gain more experience. I mean, we've never owned so many animals before either have we no. never owned goats before so that was an experience people think I'm mad I'm up me religiously 6 o'clock in the morning 6 o'clock, half past 6 o'clock in the morning out milking the goats <clears throat> out in the field doing something or other <coughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> so with the goats we, we we use them for milk Predominantly we use them for milk. I am going to start making cheese. I've been watching a few home sitting videos on how to make cheese. I've never done it before. So, I might. It's just a big learning curve. Yeah. Everything's a big learning curve. Every year we learn something new. We do. We do. We, we learn something new every year. Like every, when... every day we learn something new. And one of the things that we're learning is how to entertain baby goats. <laughs> to stop them from jumping. There's a mosquito. <laughs> to... Sorry about that. <laughs> Big problem, <laughs> mosquitoes. <laughs> to kind of and keep them entertained because obviously an unentertained baby goat causes damage. Yeah, we've actually so. got the two baby weathers that we've got. They're hopefully going to their new home. Yeah. Next couple of days. That's Lexi waking up. There we go. <laughs> Lexi's not an early bird. No, no we've been trying to. Teach her. teach her to get up early no with us early and she goes to get bed. up with us and then she can have a siesta in the afternoon when it's hot but like she's the opposite way yes so what time is it now it's nine o'clock we've been up since six yeah it's nine o'clock and we can just hear her opening her shutter and approximately five minutes time we're gonna hear mom dad <laughs> As we were saying, you know, Lexi. Morning, babe. Morning. You okay? You go say hello. Just waking up. Yeah. <laughs> so I was late. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a good sleep? Yeah. Yeah? Um, what do you think about Spain? Um, it's great, but it's hot. <laughs> Very hot. <laughs> what, do you, do you, what do you think about all the animals and stuff? Mm. You like the chickens, don't you? Oh yeah, I like my little friends. <laughs> Your little friends? Mm, yeah, the chickens. <laughs> and you help in the mornings when you get up. Um, What's school like in Spain? Mm. Good. Yeah? You like school, do you? Yeah. How was it learning the language? Because you can speak fluent Spanish, can't you? Yes. Yeah. But was it difficult? Is it? It's hard. Is it? It's a little bit difficult. Yeah. But we're doing it, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Especially with homeschooling. <laughs> homeschooling in Spain is is definitely a different experience, isn't it? Sebastian, what was your input? What do you think of Spain? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, good morning. Sebastian. What do you think of Spain? <laughs> <laughs> You're not an early bird either, are you? <laughs> <laughs>
Right, so we're going to go off and go plant some seeds now. Yes. Since somebody let the goats into the allotment. I played the fifth. <laughs> Uh, we've got water bowser to go and pick up and stuff. Yeah, we've got a second one, so then we'll have 2,000 litres of water saved for animals and the plants. It makes it easier. Um, so, yeah. That's it. So, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Um, now you know a little bit more about us and what we did and what we do. So, click the subscribe button down there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh like our page and share it and if you have any questions whatsoever just give us a shout on the uh comments down below